everybody, it's Jessica. Welcome back to the Mommy Archives. Today we have a change of scenery because I am in Kennedy's room because I'm filming her spring capsule wardrobe. It just kind of made sense to me when I transitioned my own wardrobe over to a capsule wardrobe to do Kennedy's as well. She had even more stuff than I did. I felt like over the years I had slowly pared down before I fully committed to this idea of a capsule wardrobe, but Kennedy's wardrobe from birth was outrageous, like absolutely outrageous, way too much. So I just really resolved to get her down to a capsule wardrobe as well. And she's playing over here, so you'll probably hear her playing with her blocks and stuff every now and then. She also has a camera, because mommy's filming on her camera, so <laughs> if you hear saying cheese and pressing buttons or dropping things, you know, that's mom life. But I really just wanted to share with you guys her capsule wardrobe today. And I took a similar approach to the same way I did my capsule wardrobe, and I did the Project 333 method where you have 33 pieces, including shoes, accessories, outerwear, and clothes. Of course, um, since she's a toddler, I made some concessions and I changed things up a little bit, but she ended up with 30 pieces in her capsule. Of course, just like my capsule, it doesn't include undergarments or anything like that, not that she really has too many of those, <laughs> but um, for adults, it doesn't include loungewear, and for Kennedy, she doesn't have a whole lot of loungewear, per se, um, or athletic clothes or anything like that, but she does have what I call play clothes. So things, you know, if we're just going to spend the day playing in the backyard or going to the neighborhood park, you know, and I know she's going to be getting dirt on her or whatever. Um, they're outfits where they're already faded or they already have some faint stains, um, but they're still in good condition. So she can wear those to play in. So she has a few outfits like that. Also behind me, Hi, thank you, baby. She's bringing me something to drink. <laughs> You'll notice behind me a few dresses hanging up um, that are nicer quality, and she's got three more um, on the adjacent side of the window. And those serve more as decor than anything. Her birthday dress is hanging on the other side um, from her first birthday, and so they're just they're just mainly decor. And every now and then she'll wear them. But I feel like I've pared down her wardrobe enough in other places that having six pretty dresses on the wall isn't really that big of a deal. But anyway, I know I'm rambling a lot, so let's go ahead and just hop right into her capsule, and I'll start with bottoms. She's got these pair of Carter's jeggings. Carter's just tend to fit her best because she is so petite. They tend to run a little smaller in the waist, I find. So she's got these pair that she's been fitting into forever, and they probably will not last another season because they're starting to fill. And then she's also got these Carter's jeggings that look a little bit more like jeans because they do have the bands there. But I like uh, jeggings a lot on her. Jeans tend to be difficult to find a good fit with. I would like to get her a pair of shorts that fit. However, I'm struggling immensely. Ah, there she's in the background playing. So she's got this skirt, this skirt, and this skirt. So a few different varieties there to choose from. Let's go ahead and hop into shirts and button details there. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's pretty, huh? Uh, I tried to get her films like and everything. I don't know what I was thinking. Like we got through like three pieces and I was like, this is a joke. <laughs> this is never gonna work. This may not be as cute as like a try-on video would be, but it's just not gonna happen with a toddler. She's got this onesie that's long sleeve that says, you really are my favorite. I just think it's so cute. <laughs> she also has this long sleeve item. I love the lace detail on that. I love this blouse with this beautiful floral print and these colors are very, very Kennedy. And this is also very cute. She wore this too an Easter egg hunt on a cooler day. Oh, it's got this sweet little bunny on it. This is probably the warmest item she has. It's kind of like a light sweatshirt material, so unfortunately we probably will get too much more use out of that. But I love this little shirt. It needs to be washed because she wore it to the zoo the other day, so she's got a little bit of stuff on the collar, but love that top. If you want to know where anything's from, just leave it in the comments below. She's got this little red and white stripe number with a little flutter sleeve. I love me a good bird on a t-shirt, and that one's really cute. These are really sweet spring colors. Love, love, love this shirt. We took our spring family portraits in Colorado last year. She actually wore this, and she still fits into it, so she is continuing to wear it because I love it. And then we've got this cute little bunny shirt and this like orangey peach color that I love. Very springy. So far we have five bottoms and 11 tops and a crazy toddler. Let's keep going. All right, so now I'm going to hop into dresses and this is 
technically two pieces, but I count it as one because, I mean, that's how she wears it. It's a sweet little dress that my mom got her. Um, it's got overall top and this little fluttery bottom that I just adore. It's very cute on her. This gray dress with the lace detail down the front, and it's intended to be long sleeve, um, but it fits her three quarter sleeve now, but she's short enough where it still is long enough, so love when that happens and you can extend a dress in its life. This is a really cute dress. I'm saying everything's cute and how much I love it, and that's kind of the point with the capsule wardrobe is that you love everything, so um, excuse repetitive language, but next is this little floral number. It's a really sweet little dress. This is her next dress. It's a little bunny dress, and I just love the colors with the purple and the yellow and the pink. It's so sweet. Kind of do looks so cute in it. And the next dress is this cute little navy number. The next dress is my absolute favorite. And it is this little plaid button-up dress. I love a good plaid button-up. <laughs> and so does her daddy, so we just adore this dress on her so much. Next she has a couple of cardigans, and there is just this little cream one that will go with just about anything. And then she has this little bunny one. She has lots of bunny stuff in spring, but I just couldn't resist. It's got this little bow. And, yeah. This is a little bit thicker. So it's kind of past the point now where she'll need a cardigan. There may be some cooler mornings on the way to church or whatever, but really from this point out, uh, since we're kind of into spring already by a little over a month, uh, she won't get a ton of use out of these, but she definitely needed cardigans um, in the beginning of the spring season. So these were included in our capsule for that. And lastly, we have shoes, and Kennedy has five pairs of shoes, and I'm going to start with the ones uh, that actually need replacing because her toes are like at the very edge. She really needs a new pair of little tennis shoes. These are stride rights that I got on sale at an outlet store in San Diego when we were visiting my brother. Um, but I just loved them so much. These are the shoes she learned to walk in, and they just have fit her the best of any kind of tennis shoe. Oh, oh, you okay? Yeah? <laughs> they fit her the best out of any kind of tennis shoe we've tried, and so I'd really like to get her another pair of stride rights. She also has a couple pair of flats, and I'll start with these little gold flats. I like gold because they go with just about everything. She also has one more pair of flats, and these ones are so cute. We get compliments on these whenever she wears them. And they're little red ones with little flower rosettes and they're just really, really sweet for spring. Oh, baby, you're making me nervous shaking that camera. And she has two pairs of sandals. Both are from Target. And they are these little white ones with the little flower detail. Super sweet, love those. Go with everything she owns pretty much. And these coral ones, which I just adore so much. They're kind of like Birkenstock style, but with a little bow, and the color is just perfect. I love these so much. I just adore these. I want a pair in my size because they're so cute. And now she's bringing me tons of socks, which you do not need to see because they're not included in the capsule, but those are the 30 pieces in her capsule wardrobe. Like I said, it doesn't include the dresses on her wall, her play clothes, um, or her pajamas, or things like that. But as far as her actual wardrobe goes, that is it. Those are her 30 pieces. And let me assure you, I had many, many more than 30 pieces in the past for her. I probably have 30 shirts in any given season for her. So we've pared down significantly, and I feel like, you know, she's just a kid. She doesn't need much. I do like having, you know, the extra play clothes that she can get dirty in. We don't really have to worry about or whatever. But I, uh, it's just having this number of clothes has not been a problem at all. I was just addicted to buying little baby clothes for her, and they're so cheap. And I'm like such a deal seeker. I was able to always get such good deals on them that I justified it in my mind. But really, it was excess. It's not a matter of if we could afford it or if we had the space. I feel like a lot of times we justify our purchases for those reasons, but you know, just because this, you have the space doesn't mean you have to fill it. Just because you have the money doesn't mean you have to spend it. Kids really don't need a ton, and so I've really enjoyed switching her over to a capsule wardrobe. It's just been a really good journey for me doing it with my own wardrobe and now doing it with hers. I think it was just a really great decision for our family. But that is everything. I know this video has been pretty chaotic. I'm reminded every time I film with her in the same room why I don't do that too often <laughs> because um, toddlers can get kind of rowdy and all over the place. I adore her, obviously, love her to death, but uh, 
makes filming kind of difficult and I'll probably spend a lot of time editing this for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed it despite the chaos and if you did I would love if you gave it a thumbs up so that I know you enjoy videos like this and if you're new to the mommy archives I want to see more of the crazy. It's not always this crazy but sometimes it gets crazy. But anyway if you want to see more just please be sure to click that subscribe button down below so you can see more from me in the future. She's joining me now but that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Say love you. Blow kisses. Can you blow kisses? <gasps> For mommy. Thank you. Bye-bye.